Gated horse breeds are unique because they have special gates that are smooth and comfortable to ride. As you will see in today's video, there are many different reasons why people fall in love with gated horses. You may also be surprised to learn about the number of gated horse breeds from the United States. Let's get started. Developed in Tennessee during the 18th century, from the Narragansett Pacer, Canadian Pacer, Standard Bread, Thoroughbred, Morgan, and American Saddlebred breeds. Their purpose was to be a utility horse that had a gentle temperament with a stylish and comfortable ride. There are now over 500,000 registered throughout the world. They are known for their smooth gates. So besides just dog walking or walking casually, their next step up in a gear is called a flat walk. Okay. You want their back two legs striding as long as possible. Yeah. And their front legs, you know, going in between, as well as their neck and head. You'll see them going up and down. They use their neck and their head to propel themselves in motion with their back two legs. The next gate up is a running walk. Okay. Everything is the same, keeping everything in precision, but it's just a little bit faster, a little bit bigger, a little more movement. Okay. And then the next gear is called the canner. Okay. Um, also known as the rocking chair canner. It's a three beat gate, one, two, three, one, two, three. Their, their natural gait is a big, slow, long, up and down banner. Generally standing between 14.3 and 17 hands and weighing between 900 and 1,200 pounds. They come in all colors and a variety of patterns. Some controversial techniques and even illegal practices have been associated with the breed, but those acts do not define the breed itself and it's important to celebrate their worth in the equine world as the incredible horses that they are. I'm riding out on a street or a trail. I want my walking horse to fix that cattle. <laughs> yeah, really, when you're in the saddle for 12, 13 hours, it makes a difference. Yeah. It makes a big difference. From patrolling at music festivals to working as therapy horses, you can find them in a wide variety of equine activities and disciplines. The 19th century was a time of westward expansion in America. Early settlers and pioneers needed a horse that could handle the rugged new life in the Ozarks. Stylish enough to pull a buggy and reliable enough to be the family riding horse. Tough enough to plow the fields and agile enough to work cattle. A horse that would become a favorite for country doctors, sheriffs, assessors, and cattlemen because of a special ability to cover long distances with a sure-footed and smooth gait. That horse was the Missouri Foxtrotter. They have three standard gaits. Um, same foot movement really as a regular walk of a quarter horse. Yep. Everything's just sped up quite a bit. Um, it has an overstride, so the hind foot tends mm -hmm. to overstride the track of the front foot. Okay. So you get a bigger stride there um, and cover a lot of ground. Okay. Um, and then the Foxtrot, um, in the foxtrot, the horse is walking with their front feet and trotting with their hind feet. Okay. And I think the foxtrot is the only gated breed that has a diagonal gait. It is. So every other gated breed is a laterally faced gait. Right. So they are trotting in their hind end and they are moving in diagonal paired legs, but the front foot lands a split second before the hind foot um, and the hind foot kind of slides into place. The breed motto is to ride one is to own one, and there are plenty of reasons to go find one to ride. I got into them because they were touted 42 years ago as versatile. That's the thing that I wanted. I wanted a horse I could trail ride, I could show, I could do anything I wanted with, and the personality on top of it. So it was the versatility that really drew me to the breed. The Racking Horse is a gated breed from the United States. They are known for their gait, called the Rack, a smooth four-beat gait where only one foot strikes the ground at a time. Similar to other breeds that are born with the ability to trot, Racking Horses are born with the ability to rack. 
The average size is 15 2 and around 1,000 pounds. They come in a wide variety of colors, including roan, bay, black, palomino, and champagne. The breed is known for their beauty, stamina, and calm disposition. A Racken Horse, first of all, is a pleasure to ride. It is a smoothly gated, uh, evenly minded horse. It has a presence to it, a look at me presence. In 1975, they were named as Alabama's state horse. They have a want-to attitude. Um, at the same time, they're, they're really docile. You know, it's just, they're just a really cool breed. Yeah. Over 80,000 horses have been registered with the Racking Horse Breeders Association of America. And there are two methods of registration. A proven pedigree of registered parents, including blood type, or open registration where the horse is evaluated and has to meet specific standards of temperament, gait, and confirmation. This is a breed that you can ride all day long and at the end of the day you're saying, hey, let's ride again. The old Kentucky Saddler was bred in the foothills of the Appalachians. They are the oldest gated horse breed in North America. They're a fabulous breed. They're a heritage breed. They're Kentucky's history. You know, they really are. They were, they were bred right here in Eastern Kentucky. They were the, the horse of choice for the traveling doctor, for the frontier nurse, or the, you know, the preacher, or the school teacher. to be a usable, you know, reliable, dependable horse. Right. They were the absolute lifeblood of a lot of these old farmers because they couldn't farm, they couldn't get to the store, they couldn't get the kids to school, they couldn't do anything without them. Their bloodlines can be traced back over 200 years. Genetic testing done at the University of Kentucky has placed them as the root stock of North American gated breeds. The average height is between 14 2 and 16 hands. They can be any solid colored coat pattern. The gait they are known for is called the saddle rack. It comes naturally to them and is smooth to ride. They are primarily used for trail riding, competitive trail, obstacle events, and drill team. You can also find them in barrel racing, cow sorting, dressage, and endurance. Over the years, the breed has remained true to its original type. We want it to be that original mind that you can take it and do anything you want with it, and it's going to be a partner to you. A lot of the riders nowadays are older before they ever start. You need to feel safe. You need to feel like your horse is taking care of you. With a population of less than 3,000, the hardest part for someone looking to buy is finding one. If you want a buddy, if you want a buddy that is sensible and wants to hang out and wants to do what you want to do, then yeah, if you're lucky enough to find one, you're lucky. <laughs> The McCurdy Plantation Horse is a rare gated breed. There are fewer than 700 of them registered worldwide. The breed was developed by the McCurdy family during the late 1800s and early 1900s. The family owned a 10,000 acre plantation in Alabama. They wanted to breed something that was easy to get around on the day to day operation. They wanted something that was comfortable in the saddle, could pull a plow, pull a wagon, and also work cows. And so, henceforth, the McCurdy Plantation. In the early 1930s, many of the horses were registered as Tennessee Walkers. Several horses, including McCurdy's Kentucky Saddler and McCurdy's Doctor, can be traced back to foundation stock for the Tennessee Walking Horse breed. Over time, these well-loved horses developed into their own breed. To this day, the McCurdy family is still involved with McCurdy Plantation Horses. The breed has a smooth, four-beat ambling gait, called the McCurdy Lick. They are born naturally gated. 
They are described as horses that can be ridden all day without rider fatigue. So, I, just, I love them because they are what they you know call like a using horse. Like you could really do anything with them. Known as the legacy of the Old South, they can be found around the United States, and a few have been sold internationally. Bred in the mountains of Kentucky, this American breed is naturally gated with a smooth four-beat gait. They can take you from the show ring to the mountain trails without any bumps along the way. The classic coloring is a beautiful chocolate with a flaxen mane and tail. All solid colors are accepted in the registry, including Silver Grulia, Silver Bay, and Black. They stand between 14-2 and 16 hands. The Rocky Mountain Horse Association requires a two-step registration process, which includes a DNA verification and an inspection of gait, confirmation, and temperament once the horse has been started under saddle. Although growing in popularity, they are currently listed as watch status by the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy, making this breed a very rare and very special horse. Let me know which of these breeds you've ridden in the comments below. And don't forget to watch their quest episodes so you can learn more about each breed. Happy riding everyone, I'll see you next time.